Uh, what's up, everyone? This is uh, the test for the Vengeance Paladin doing the survivability test. Um, I actually made this video yesterday, and it had no audio, so I'm <laughs> doing it again. But uh, this is the map that I'm going to be testing. Um, it's got pretty decent minus chance to block. Hopefully that doesn't screw me. Uh, but I'm going to try it anyways. Anyways, I made some changes to this yesterday. I uh, got a couple new pieces of gear, which I'll show you in a minute. And that has really helped the survivability and making this build a lot more comfortable to map with. Before, it was just you know, the leech problems were not working out too well. And I sw then I switched to Gamer Shred, and that just kind of made it worse. So I had to make some other changes. Um, I chose this map because these um, witches do a lot of damage, and I just wanted to show you how that worked. But it's a relatively easy map. It's just a T1, so. Uh, one of the biggest issues with Vengeance Pally is going to be survivability. You, I see a lot of people making the mistake of just going for the most damage on their character sheet and you know, completely ignoring the fact that you're you need some damage reduction kind of a lot you know um you can get away with just a little bit i don't have too much on i think i'm on about like 30 pdr right now uh but as you can see i'm not really taking too much damage as long as stuff is dying because i've got life and mana on each kill and that really solved a bunch of problems for me Still got a couple pieces that I could upgrade. We'll look at the gear in just a sec, but <laughs> you can see I'm uh, doing this pretty comfortably. Let's just go into a spot and take some damage for a second. So I'm taking a little damage, but just keep some rejuves on hand. You'll definitely have to pot more than you're used to with a zealer. I, think, I don't think I ever <laughs> use potions on my zealer. Uh, which is nice if you want to collect a bunch of re rejuves, a zealer can do it. But oh, here we go. How do you get out of that? Find the guy that's doing all the damage and take him out. Anyways, if you're not using joust you really should um, not only is it super useful utility wise it's going to increase your dps by a lot because you're spending a lot less time um, running between packs and that's more dps basically um, i'll do a dps test in the next video actually I mean, we can we can check it out right now might as well but this is more about survivability just kind of slowly going through these, seeing if I can survive. They've got amp damage on me and doing just fine so far. It's a little different than a zealer where you're used to being at full basically always. Um, but, oh shit. Close one. But yeah, charge and um, joust. Definitely be using them. Super useful skills. Uh, see, I use charge to get around as well as joust, and I freaking love it. I like to joust into those witches and take them out because they do a lot of damage. Speaking of damage, let's see how much I'm doing. I'm not going to really try to max out the DPS right now. I'm just kind of going slow on this map. But we'll, we'll just do it real quick and see what we can get. Nice. Is 
Anybody else getting super crazy good charms this season? So I've gotten a bunch of really GG roll charms. I got this one basically day one. <laughs> I forgot I'm supposed to be testing DPS. This is, yeah, like uh, other DPS tests are going to be a lot higher. I'll do a, an official DPS test in the next video. This is, like I said, more about the survivability, which honestly is the number one concern, I think, for a Vengeance Pally. As you can see, this is pretty comfortable. Let's take a look at stats and gear. All right, let's get to a spot. So, your block chance is down a little bit thanks to the map, but basically max on resists, not quite in the overstacked range yet, but let's look at the gear. Uh, like I said, Gamer Shred, uh, super GG slam with this on the three sockets. That's really helped me out a ton, and I upgraded it as well. And I've got a vamp gaze for the damage reduction. Um, Lionheart, just mostly for the resist right now until I get something better. Uh, Drax, this right here is what is keeping me alive right now. Um, the life after each kill is what it's about. And I got two ravens on. I had another ring that is not that good where somewhere but i just put on another raven for the extra decks uh, and then silk weave for the mana after each kill i'm going to try to roll a caster ring or something with life and mana on each kill uh, to put here and then uh, string of ears with a super good uh, perfect damage reduction roll and yeah that's pretty much it i I really am starting to like this build a lot better now that I'm that it's kind of more fully formed and it's <coughs> actually super pretty budget friendly at this point. I mean, it gets more expensive later, but you could be mapping with the gear that I have on for, you know, maybe one high rune, probably less. Honestly, now prices are going to be coming down. Um, I mean, I had all of this stuff by yesterday, basically. Um, without trying too hard <coughs> but the weapon is super cheap the shield is super cheap uh, the only things that are really significant value are the helm and the belt but yeah that damage reduction is pretty important definitely get some if you're struggling to stay alive get some drax um, if you're running out of mana get some of these or something with the mana after each kill make a caster ring or something um, and then yeah that's pretty much it i i'm really starting to enjoy it a lot better now um now that the leech problems are gone i can't wait to try it with a little bit better gear i know for sure that it was doing more damage than my previous zeal build or at least i'm pretty sure i didn't get to try it with the uh i didn't get to try it with the uh dps counter but it definitely felt stronger. Yeah, I don't know that I would attempt Ubers or anything like that with this build, but it's a really good mapper. Oh, shit. The only time I ran into an issue is when you're fighting a mob and stuff isn't dying because you're getting the life after each kill uh, to keep you alive. So just have some rejuves on hand uh, to use. And I just chugged my last one.
want to grab some potions. I was a little laggy there for a second. Grab me some rejuves from the stash. Honestly, one thing about this is it's basically the same as my Zeal Paladin and is that I can't keep my Merc alive for crap. Uh, so if you're having that problem, I'm in the same boat. But honestly, it's not a big deal. I'm really not reliant on the Merc at all. And it's probably about my play style when you... Uh, joust into a big pack of mobs they tend to die really easy and not much you can do about that but if you keep a like slower moving play style they can stay alive a little better i just he needs better gear at this point but like i said i'm really not worried about it because i, I don't actually need him that whole pack of witches just explodes up a bit. I can't say it enough. You start using Joust if you're not already. Just Joust alone can reduce the dam incoming damage by a lot. Speaking of which, now that we have a DPS meter, I hope one of the next things they do is an incoming damage meter because you know, knowing your PDR and stuff is great, but it would be super cool to be able to test things like how much uh, faster block rate will do because that's what I'd like to use for my boots is some water walks that give me faster block rate. I'm pretty sure that <coughs> block your block rate is your biggest damage reduction uh, way more than any um, PDR stuff. I can really feel it when there's a low block. Like right now, I'm down 10%. Pretty comfy though. Had to pot a couple times on the boss, but single target damage is a lot. You can really see it when you. F I was hoping to find a treasure goblin. They uh, used to take a bit of work to get down with my zealer, even s super geared zealer. But with one of these vengeance paladins, they just chunk them down. And like the champions, these, uh, what would you call those? Rares or it's whatever. The amount of damage due to those guys is insane.
take out those ranged because they do a lot of damage. to come back and grab loot because I've been <laughs> kind of distracted. But honestly, it's fun. Uh, I've been having fun with it. Oops. It's cool to be playing something different that, uh, yeah, something new. But also still familiar. The F, F Uniques. What a good F Unique. That would be cool. Oh shit. There we go. Couldn't tell who was hurting so bad right there. So not super fast uh, clear speed yet, but I'm sitting at 20 minutes right now, which mo moving kind of slow uh, for a, it's like 175 density map. So not a super dense map, but not a not a not dense map. Yeah, it's almost clear. The amount of damage to these the like uniques and rare mobs is insane. I 
I mean, the best thing about this build is, you know, you're never going to come into a mob that's immune to you. You know, they might be a little resistant, but even those ones don't uh, put up much of a fight. That was a good drop. Death Zerker. Those feel super rare to me. I'll cube that later. We can get f five sockets. Oof. Wouldn't mind having a little bit more magic DR. Honestly, something like a Gladiator's Bane or something. If I had the resist and didn't need them. Once I get a torch, that won't be a problem. I think we're pretty much clear at this point. Minus the couple stragglers that I left because I was too impatient to clean them all up. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to cruise around and pick up whatever loot that I didn't grab the first time. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.